Good morning, Nashville. This place just looks so cool. I wish I could explore this place a lot more than I'm gonna be able to. Welcome to day two of my trip. Today is gonna be from Nashville to, I'm gonna try to make it to Oklahoma City, but that's like a nine and a half hour drive. So we'll see how far I can get. I also just realized that I forgot the charger to my watch and my GoPro. So I have to stop at Walmart. I also, I know this is gross, but I also didn't bring a toothbrush. But there's a Starbucks right around the corner. And I know of one person so far who wants to come say hi and you know, I'll get to meet them. His name's Ethan. Let's get checked out and go have some fun. I really should get this PPF too. In other words, clear wrapped or whatever you want to call it. Oh, guys, it's not going to be this quiet for, for too much longer. I just looked over the Facebook page for the Type R and tried to find if anyone in my area is selling a used exhaust. But then I was like, you know what? I have like a $200 credit for MA Performance uh, because of all those referral links that you guys have been using over the course of, geez, I don't know, like the past year. It's $200 towards my next purchase. So the AWE exhaust system will be $200 off, which that's what people try to sell them used for, which is ridiculous. Wow, this shifts so much better. Okay, so this 9th gen belongs to Ethan. What's Ethan up, reached out to me last night. And yeah, we're gonna go to Starbucks. There's someone else there right now. Coffee. FG2 Brian. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, man. I like the tattoos. Thanks, brother. So Ethan bought my Starbucks, which is really nice. I've been talking to my friends here, Wilbur and Brian. Thanks for coming out. This is Wilbur's 8th gen. This looks really cool. Oh, I like that. Oh nice, you got some LEDs. Cool shift knob. This is sweet, dude, and it smells really good. You take your care of your car. Yeah, I tried to. <laughs> what year is this? 09. Ah, oh, dude, this looks wicked clean for an 09. I appreciate it. That's yeah, it. I'm gonna get a startup. Yeah, it, it looks like it's loud. Oh yeah. So and you know what? The stock wheels on that actually look really good. I parked like an asshole, sorry. They're not in chronological order, but that's okay. For the left-hand drive FB6, I got them on eBay through uh, JC Garage. It's this um, eBay seller who I've bought a couple of other parts for. I've got the like the res red hazard switch in here. Okay. I love like the overseas stuff for the ninth gen. Yeah. So super basic, got the 12. Oh, sweet. But yeah, sliding cup holder which is awesome. You can slide that out of the way. Nice. Throw your stuff in there. And then I did, um, I got this on eBay. This is a, from a 1415 sedan. Or not sedan, just 1415 SI, so it slides. Okay. It's pretty cool. It's a little thicker and it has a red stitch. Nice. Did the red hazard switch. I have this, um, this is, a, I forget, I don't know what year this is from. This is a cool little ambient light. And I did the OEM ambient light. Ambient lighting too, so there's one here and one's oh, the wells. Hey, can you send me the link to to this right here? Or did Just you the black? Yeah. Yeah, that's factory. What? Yeah. That's not factory of mine, it's silver. Yeah. You have 13? Yeah, I have a 13. Yeah. This is the dead pedal we got from the student mic FB6. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, and the projectors. Check out the projectors in the UAE. Oh. oh nice. Yeah. That looks good. That was really awesome meeting those guys. It's such an inspiration. I was just thinking about that. And looking at what they've done to their cars, I mean, they have really clean examples of eighth and ninth gens. And I'm, I've been reassessing, like, what the heck am I doing with my ninth gen? Should I get rid of it now when I get the Type R home? Or should I do it some justice and take care of those little things that are wrong with it? Uh, like the shift boot, it's broken right here on the ninth gen, so the ship boot just hangs down like it doesn't click into place. It's it's snapped when Kenny and I put in the carpet. Just little stuff like that. I when I get home, I have this new newfound like energy to. I'm not gonna sink a ton of money into it because it's still a salvage title, and I, you know the money that I put into it. Yeah, I'll make some money from the content, but I'm not gonna get that money back. I think when I get back, I'm gonna hold on to the ninth gen for a few months do a couple more races. I really need to race a stock Focus ST and a stock WRX before I get rid of it. Those are the two cars that I need to race. But with the Type R, I could either get an exhaust first and then wait for my next YouTube paycheck 
to try and get enough for wheels and tires, but I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be a thousand bucks for Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. It's gonna be eh, $2,000-ish for wheels, maybe. Maybe I can find a set of wheels for less than that, but I do want to get some really good quality stuff. So when I was showing them the car a few minutes ago, we looked at the sidewall of these tires, and the sidewall is 30. And I, I, I accidentally just hit another pothole too. I can't freaking get away from these potholes, guys. But I'm about to go through Memphis in a few hours, and then Little Rock, Arkansas. I've always wanted to see Little Rock. I don't know why but I've always just been kind of fascinated with this area of the country. But I'm using the lane keep assist right now and it's actually, it's actually pretty nice. I've only been on the road for a little over an hour, but I wanted to stop. I've been getting off the highway and, you know, and going back on immediately to make sure I rode through all the gears. I'm checking my video status. It's been up for an hour, 38 minutes, and it's number one out of 10. So that makes me happy. I've gotten, I don't know, 21 subscribers since I posted the video, which is pretty good. Wow, congrats on the new Type R. Drive safe on your trip back home. Thank you. Dennis said, congrats Cameron, so hyped for the new content and your new build soon. By the way, Type R has 12 speaker, 540 watt system with subwoofer, and the SI has a 10 speaker, 450 watt system. Okay, that's good to know. All right, let's do some more driving. God, this is already getting dirty. I think my favorite part about this car so far, it's actually hard to say because the whole car in general is just so good. That was six PSI. Let's put it in R mode. What is the difference between Sport and R? I, ha I haven't even looked this up yet, guys. For all my new subscribers, <laughs> I'm, I'm not always like this. I, there are a certain amount of things that I just kind of wing it. This one especially, this whole, this whole deal just happens so fast. And also for my new subscribers, I am active duty Air Force, so I had to get my leave approved by the squadron commander because of- Oh no! Let's give it a decent amount of throttle. Six PSI, seven. I'm at 339 miles now. So the road is clear, but I don't completely trust these roads yet. I don't want to take turns too aggressively just yet. Throttle is wicked touchy with sport mode. Why are you honking at me, dude? I was dodging potholes. You calm down, old lady. I'll tell you what though, guys. I have been swerving around potholes left and right. They just come out of nowhere and cars are like honking at me, like that Prius. A tractor trailer truck even honked at me. He probably just thought I was I was a dangerous driver and he wanted to like wake me up or something like that. When in reality, no, I'm just trying to take care of my car, man. All right, we've run into kind of a problem. I ran into a ton of traffic. Since I last stopped filming, I mean, I think I've only gotten 10 miles in 45 minutes. I'm definitely not gonna make it to Oklahoma City tonight, which is fine, I'll stop somewhere else. I told my GPS to only take me on back roads. Well, I told it to avoid highways. And there will be another advantage to this, which will be braking in the car a little better. God, it sounds like the, oh, my door's open, that's why. God, I'm stupid sometimes. So I think I've been able to assess that sport mode and R mode have the same amount of pumped in noise. A lot of people seem to be worried about the, the black paint, and I get it. This is my third black car. I had a black Scion TC, the first gen. God, I think I had that car for four years. And then I had my first ninth gen Civic Si sedan. I had that for three years, and those were both black. Granted, back then I didn't really know how to take care of cars, so those, I mean, the paint jobs on those were just completely fucked. But with this car right when I get it home, I promise I am going to do a paint correction. What I need to do is get on Amazon and order a ceramic coating, and I'll do it the right way this time. Last time when I did it on my 10 Gen SI, I don't know, I didn't know I was doing it wrong at the time, but then people were commenting in the videos and they're like, hey, you need to let it haze over. Like you have to let it sit on the paint for a little longer than what you did, so. Hey, I don't know, this, 
my whole YouTube channel is about figuring stuff out as I go, making mistakes and then doing it better the next time. I swear, Tennessee, you guys have some temperamental weather, man. Oh, I don't want a hydroplane. Okay, let's slow it down. How do I get the rear wiper to turn on? The rear wiper isn't on. Probably shouldn't be worried about that right now. Oh, now you wanna merge, okay. Go ahead, buddy. I'm not gonna fight you. Holy sh So I went to Walmart and got a GoPro charger in Memphis and uh, I paid five bucks for it and it works. Oh, also, I stopped and ate at this place called One and Only Barbecue and it is probably the one and only worst barbecue in the world. It was terrible, I got a cheeseburger with the cheese not even melted. But you know what? Enough of that negativity. I'm at 538 miles and I think I'm ready to take her up to 4,000 RPM. What do you want to say? Your message to Vivian says that barbecue was fucking terrible. Okay, it's sent. Good job, Siri. See, autocorrect will, it doesn't like recognize the word and it'll try to say ducking. But when you tell her to say it, she'll say it back. That's interesting. Vivian said, oh, what a fucking bummer. <laughs> and I'm sorry, babe. All right, I'm ready to do about 50% throttle and we'll go up to 4,000 RPM. Okay, let's go up into sport mode. wheels when I get my YouTube paycheck on the 21st of March for what I earned in February because wheels and tires are a huge priority for me I can't believe Honda put 20 inch wheels on this thing not a lot of people were too impressed with the BB uh, with the BBS wheels that I put in my last video which is fine I mean I'm not totally set on them I just thought they looked really cool could you guys do me a favor actually could you comment your recommendations for wheels I'm not getting to E37s I'm not I want something that looks sharp. Because here's my philosophy when it comes to wheels for the Type R. The Type R is a very edgy car, has a lot of sharp edges to it, you know, pointy corners and stuff like that. And then if you go and get a set of wheels that have a really smooth appearance to them, that doesn't make sense to me. And I'm sorry, I, I know I'm probably offending some people and I'm sorry, but this is my opinion. I feel like I need to get a set of wheels that at least somewhat matches the character of the car. So with that in mind, I would very much appreciate some recommendations from you guys. Holy crap, guys, more rain. I have been through so much rain all day and yesterday. Look at that, it's I don't think the camera's doing it justice, but it looks, wow. It looks freaky over there. As of right now, that's my ETA to Oklahoma City. I don't, I think I might just find a place to take a nap tonight and just, Maybe two, three hours and get up and go. Uh, Vivian's gonna be so mad if she finds that out. Oh crap, and Vivian's mom. Okay, Lorena, if I end up sleeping in my car tonight, don't tell Vivian. <laughs> She's gonna get mad at me and I'm gonna be in trouble when I get home. It has literally been 90 seconds since I last stopped filming. And it just went dark. There are two cars over there that were right behind me and they ended up pulling over.
Okay, I this is I've been going through this rain for about an hour, and I'm getting tired, and that's making me extra nervous. One because I can't see potholes. Two because people are passing me, like tr semi trucks are passing me, going way faster than I am, and it's kicking up all this you know water. I just want to pull over and get some sleep, take a little nap. There's a big gas station complex truck stop thing right there. I'm gonna stop there. I figured that'd be a decently safe place because it has a lot of traffic. You know, like whenever you do something like this, you never want to stop at a place that is in the middle of nowhere or a place that rarely gets any traffic. I mean, I'm no survival expert, but that makes sense in my mind. This mobile right here, this area is perfect. Oh, that is a legit curb. Let's not do that. I just took a nap. I'll tell you what, taking a nap in this car is, I mean, not ideal. Not ideal. I think they still think I'm talking to her. <laughs> My mom was so freaking funny. My mom texted me this right here. Good stuff. That is a really, that has a really cool ring to it though. Murdered in Arkansas. That sounds like it could be a Stephen King novel or something like that. I'm about 42 minutes away from Little Rock, Arkansas. And apparently the weather is like not raining over. It's not clear, but it's not raining because this rain is still coming down strong. So what I'm going to do is take back roads. I told my GPS to avoid highways yet again. And we're gonna get our asses west past this rain because I was supposed to get like 400 miles more than I did today. I need to get back to freaking California. California. It's a good song, babe. Well there, I've been on back roads for about 45 minutes to an hour. I stopped in the middle of the road actually and got some pictures which you can find on my Instagram. Pretty cool. You know, the portrait mode on the iPhone 12 actually works pretty well. Started raining again, but it's still time to get back on the highway. In 14 miles, turn right onto Harkrider Street. break of dawn, I'm going to floor this car for the first time. And then tomorrow, we're gonna have some more fun. But for now, 